Use integration by parts to find the integral of x sine 3x and using your answer to part A, find the integral of x squared cos 3x. So here's the question in summary form then. So let's have a look at part A. We'll call this uh, V and this DU. And so if we write this as I, so here I is equal to then, it would be U, which would be integral of sine is minus cos. But when we differentiate this in our mind's eye, the cos goes to minus sine. So we'll get the sine, but then a 3 will come out because it's multiplied by the something differentiated. So we need a 3 underneath. So there's u times v minus the integral of u, which is this. So the minus can come here. The third can come here. We've got cosine 3x. Uh, that, was, that was u. And then dv, which is 1. So this is equal to then um, minus x over 3 cosine 3x and here we've got the integral of this is sine uh, 3x because sine differentiates the cos but another 3 comes out so we need a ninth here don't we to put another 3 underneath plus k so there's i for part a now part b so integral of this then let's call this j uh, j is equal to the integral of x squared cosine 3x dx and that's v then and this is du is equal to u which is sine 3x and again the sine of something differentiates to cos of something multiplied by the something differentiated which would be 3 so we need a third here so that this differentiates to this so that's u times v minus the integral of u which is sine 3x over 3 times the v which is 2x dx which equals uh, x squared over 3 sine 3x minus 2 thirds of integral of x sine 3x which was i so that equals then um, x squared over 3 sine 3x plus uh, minus 2 thirds rather minus 2 thirds of i which is this stuff here minus x over 3 cosine 3x plus 1 ninth sine 3x and I'll put the plus k now at the end because it's a constant of integration isn't it which equals x squared over 3 sine 3x plus 2 ninths x cosine 3x when we expand the first term minus 2 over 27 sine 3x and then we've got a plus k at the end haven't we